You don't exactly see many darts games around, do you? I can think of a couple of reasons why that is. Firstly, it's not exactly the biggest of sports, is it? Sure, there's certainly an audience for it where I come from, but you Americans and the like, well, they'd probably consider it a simple bar thing, not something you take seriously. It's leisure, not sports. Secondly, and tying in with the whole leisure thing, why wouldn't you just play it for real? Darts isn't exactly a hard game to pick up, doesn't need loads of equipment, and it can be enjoyed no matter how good you are. And plus it kinda needs other people. Darts in the pub with friends and booze? Fine! Darts at home in pixel form on a screen? Daft. Finally, it's actually very hard to get right in game form. Most darts games are pretty much the same. You control an incredibly shaky cursor and try desperately to hit the target. It's like the archery section of an Olympics game, only this is basically the whole freaking game. Not very interesting, is it? It's not bad when it's a sub-game, as in bar game collections like Parlour Games and 42 All-Time Classics on the DS, but a game that's exclusively darts? <laughs> that's just stupid. And so most darts games are crap. There's not enough interest in the sport for anyone to try and make anything above a simple cashing, basically. There is one darts game for me that managed to actually get it right. Enter 180, the latest specy game in line for a little quickie review. So let's give it a jolly good see it to, eh? The immediate difference is that unlike all other darts games, 180 doesn't have a shaky cursor. Instead it has a disembodied hand floating around the board. You can't see exactly where the dart's going to go, you have to estimate it based on how the dart flies once it leaves your hand. It'll end up a few inches above the hand, usually. It's not super difficult, and after a few visits you'll soon find your range, but it feels so much better. It feels like you're actually getting some decent feedback, with the possibility still remaining of getting it won. The hand never actually stops moving, so there's still quite a bit of timing involved. The systems are natural, and it works. I'm frankly amazed that no other dart game has ever attempted to whip it off, in fact. In one stroke, 180's mechanic gets rid of the need for a pointless gamified variable such as the shaky cursor without making the game utterly piss easy as a result. If you ever decide that you want to make a darts game in the future, you know, just because, well, whip this game off, because it won't ever get any better than this. 180 is probably the best remembered of all darts games too. It certainly helps that it came out in the 1980s, when darts was a big feature on terrestrial telly. There were all your characters like the crafty cockney Eric Bristow, Jockey Wilson, Bullet Bob Anderson, drinking beer, smoking fags and throwing yeros. All that good old grainy working class smoky 1980s shit, you know? Watching it now, you can practically feel your full 1080p flat screen telly sprouting the big back and going all fuzzy and black and white. Oh yeah, and uh, let's not forget about Bullseye either. The people loved darts then as they still do now, but the vibe was different, like going to the pub in your living room, and 180 kinda has the same thing going on. Watching the opponent's throw is hilarious, what with the honky tonk music, the inevitable dog and those daft bastard checkered shirts you'd find hidden away in your dad's wardrobe. Even though this is undoubtedly best with two players, this part definitely makes single player kinda fun too, and worth playing. And once you've beaten the appropriately named Jammy Jim, the game even encourages you to take darts up professionally. Don't stay in your womb, get out there, get in your local alehouse, and as long as you're not so cack-handed as to throw a few ounces of tungsten into the landlord's eyeball, you can step up to the yockey with the best of them. 180 is nice, a wonderful little relic from the old days, and even though this might sound like damning with faint praise, it is undoubtedly the single greatest simulator of darts ever made. And with that said, it's time to end this quickie bit. Thanks for watching, and wherever you are, whoever you be, have a good one, take care, and I'll see you next time.